Hey people, Kate Slink here. How are we doing? So the final of the trilogy of the Machines of War, we're going to be looking at the Biovore. Rhymes, but I didn't mean to. Um, so this guy, when I first kind of seen his skills, um, I wasn't impressed. Um, but the more I've kind of played around with him and seen him in action, I've kind of had the most fun with this guy. Um, the spores can really do some great damage, um, very situational, but yeah, this guy is good fun, and I think used right, it can cause some great damage. So we look at his skills, so the bio minefield, so he targets an enemy on the battlefield. If there are three or more spore mines on the battlefield, all spore mines immediately take a turn moving forward to the target. If possible, summon three spore mines in three hexes adjacent to the target, um, and then they have their own kind of uh, stats, uh, damage, depending on the level, and health. Um, the spore mine launcher is the free passive, so it just summons a spore mine onto the free hex of the battlefield, but it's not adjacent to an enemy. Um, they explode when attacking, or when they are adjacent, spore mine is defeated. It basically gives some toxic damage to all adjacent enemies. Now, um, you've got to kind of come at range. These kind of spores can do some crazy damage um, and they can be such a nuisance on the board. Like I said, if shot in the right place or if there's enough of them around you, you've really got to take care of them before they do the damage. Um, we'll see shortly in the gameplay video. Um, as the other ones before, it's kind of just showing the kind of progression of the materials. Again, like the other ones, it all depends on the canisters. Um, it uses different material, obviously, because it's for the Tyranids. Um, and it's very similar to characters in the kind of upgrades. Um, as I keep said in the other videos, it's a grind. Um, so you, you are going to be working to grind these characters up um, to a decent level. And again, it depending on, as I've said before, um, the kind of event to how many canisters you're going to get. So exciting times. So let's have a look at this guy in action. So we're kind of going to see here, I'm going to shoot off a boar, a boar, a spawn. Um, and then we're going to take care of it straight away um, just to see how easy and why you should take care of them really. So Rosworth goes in there, gets their kill. We're going to move the rest of the crowd forward. So again, I'm going to skip to go in a good position, send off another one behind, but this time I'm going to leave it to and to stand still to show it can show the damage it can do. So it moves and bang, it takes out Ross with her. It's took out a lot of health there on Typhus, so you can see that's some crazy damage. Now we're going to shoot off the three is where it starts to be a bit like of a nightmare because if you don't clear them or you're going to stand still, this is going to happen when you stand still. Kaboom, you're all dead crazy and well actually it's only two of the spore mines as well i'm going to shoot up another three cow guards gonna be like that well i could take care of these with my special there we go done but he's used his go he's all alone so we're going to go all right and we'll send off another three this time he's probably thinking it's game over goes for one attack let's try and punch one bang they'll blow up and he's dead so we're going to pause it there just to kind of reflect on that um crazy and that was what in about three or four turns um just goes to show on the right kind of board the right scenario do you know what i mean if you can cause bother to that team coming down before they even reach your guys um so once you get a free off as well it's just craziness absolute craziness you've got to think of the range and the movement they can only move one so if you've got these spawn mines coming out of you just remember that do you know what i mean get out of the way get them killed um because if not, they're going to hurt you. So now we're going to look at the Biovore against the tank boss. Um, he kind of um, has his niches for different bosses. Um, I think with like certain bosses like the Avatar, like Morty, uh, like the Screamer Killer, they have that sweep of killing like units around. So if you're sending off the mines... Um, when they're a bit testing, it's just killing them off straight straight away. So it's not the greatest um, against that. It would probably help against some of the summons on the board. of shooting the mines out to kind of clear some of the summons of the bosses. Or if you can get them mines kind of put close to the boss, 
but not to be killed and then move in and do do the killing it can come quite handy there but we're going to see an example here against the tank um where it can kind of uh, do all right so we're going to send the first one off there again it's great for kind of distracting the enemy that took what three guardsmen so straight away that's taking firepower from you um but they killed it which was kind of no surprise we're going to go in there play it as normal try and do so much damage as we can using a multi-hitting team and then we're going to shoot off another spore mine there he goes up there just to, again to try and take some of the action off you again it's took all of the guardsmen even the mortar so it's taking firepower from you allowing you to kind of go in there and do as much damage as you can and just keeping that firepower off you and then we're going to go we're going to shoot the three this time this one is quite close, so we can do some damage in the tank. And the one in the middle there, which is going to move past. The guardsman's going to destroy that now. There we go. Turns around. And then it's going to go in for the kill. There we go. Just do just over 10,000 damage for the two, which ain't too bad against the tank. Carry on as normal. Shoot another three, this time up closer to the summons. So they're going to have to take care of them now, because they are toast. Goes in there. Bang goes the mines. Boom. That's taken care of the summons. So now you can just keep shooting them off. Um, just getting as much damage as you can on the tank. And that's what I said before. They're great for kind of keeping the summons distracted. Again, he's got to show it. He actually run over that one this time. Caused himself some damage in the tank. It goes in there. Bang. And the rest can just go in there. The other one's a bit further out of the way. So he won't be able to do any damage. I'm just going to shoot off three for the sake of it, which is a bit pointless because the turn was over. So you can see what I mean about this these kind of spore mines. They're fun to use. They are easily killed, easily dealt with. But if you don't deal with them, they're going to do some damage to you. So again, I've kind of changed my mind with this guy because I just loved using them. I just think they'd be great more in this kind of mode in the arena kind of tournament arena just causing a distraction and panic because if i'm against this and i see these mines come in i know that they can cause some bad damage to your team so instantly your, your kind of targets have changed once you start getting free of them yeah do you know what i mean you are going to be panicking thinking i need to get rid of these before they hit me or get as far as away as i can um because it's just going to be game over like that so again a different kind of machine of war compared to the other two um it's more of a distraction one this one um but at the same time um that distraction can kill so let me know what you think in the comments um below has this kind of changed your mind seeing it in action now because it surely has changed mine um are you tempted to go for this guy are you tempted to go for any of us let me know in the comments below um, hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to check out some more videos and also hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. Take care. Bye bye. Yeah.